This is Priya. Welcome to my channel on Generative AI Applications. Today, um, I want to talk about a, a fairly interesting research um, from Meta AI. They recently released a paper called NuGet, um, which is about parsing um, academic documents or books uh, better. So um, if you've ever worked with like um, academic papers and you've used um, open source methods, um, like PyPDF to parse them, you'll know that they do a that um, most of these um, tools do a really good job of parsing out all the text, but then um, in reality, like a lot of different, the, the data in, in papers and in general for books as well, is in a lot of, lot of different formats. So you'll have like um, images, right? You'll have like um, latex equations, math equations. You'll also have tables in them, charts in them. Um, and what we typically find is that most parsing techniques do not do well in parsing these correctly. Um, and so uh, usually like if you do run a summarization pipeline on on, on um, uh, papers, um, you'll see that it does an okay job because it gets all the text and it kind of summarizes that, but it misses out a lot of information that is that is either in, in mathematical form or in tables. And so this paper um, does an amazing job at solving them. I have tested this and I have just have been blown away by it. So what they have done um, essentially is they have um, developed a way of taking a PDF as input, uh, which is, it kind of reads that as an image as an input. And then it, instead of writing it as text, it writes that as, um, as latex output. Um, and so that allows you to get all the information of that is that is encoded in tables and mathematical form out correctly. So that's that's this paper high level. Um, the approach they took is that they have used um, the Swin transformer to to take um, the input here is a paper. They use Swin transformer to convert that into a latent space, and then they use a transformer decoder that uh, directly writes out the the latex. Um, uh, so it's a standard encoder decoder architecture. Um, they I'll kind of focus here on a, on a few things. Um, so I'll show here, this is one of the results in the paper. So as you can see, this is one of the images here where like a lot of math equations are, are written here in, um, in this box. And you can see it does a really, really good job of parsing it out correctly um, and putting it in um, and rereading it and rendering it in latex essentially. Okay, awesome. Um, the other very impressive thing is that um, the papers shared their results on a lot of different metrics compared to other techniques. And you can see that they are substantially better than common methods that are employed to read, read PDFs. So they overall do much, much better in reading um, everything. I would say from even the plain text is read better, the math is read way better. Look at the score here, 0 0.727 versus 0 0.128, um, as well as all the tables are read much better. So it's a, it's a significant improvement um, over the current uh, baseline. Okay, awesome. So um, I've written a, a fairly detailed blog on this. So I'll kind of include the link here in the YouTube video so you can go through it and it explains the um, the steps I followed in more detail. So I want to now focus on the on the code and how you can get this running and how you can use it. Um, the code is open source. It's pretty easy to run. Um, the link to this Colab notebook is in, in my channel. So high level, the steps are you need to install this library. Um, and then beyond that, it's it's pretty easy. You can, once you have the library up and working, it by default loads the NuGet small model um, and that, that's what it uses. Um, and the code here, um, just you need to just give it the link to a paper um, and then it it, it takes, uh, takes about five to 10 seconds to run on a GPU and then it will give you back the output that it has read for the paper. And as you can see here, um, as you can see directly here, right? It contains, the output contains text, but also contains latex. So this is the paper that I read through it. Um, and you can see that the method section two has actually this math equation up here that's parsed out right here. Similarly, if you scroll through this, you'll see that the tables are parsed out quite well in latex format. So um, it does pretty well here. Um, so overall, yeah, I mean, I definitely felt that it, it did very well in parsing the paper. What I wanted to test as well here is uh, whether um, common LLMs like the OpenAI's GPT-4 does 
is able to read the tables output in latex format and interpret them and i have to say i was not sure going into the experiment if um if uh, closed source models or in general even open source models out there are good at reading latex and interpreting them and i have to say i was impressed they did pretty well so um the next section of my experiments go into um, using langchain to to read this co content of the paper that's parsed and um to extract all tables from it and then to um to to basically summarize them so what i have done here is that um i have um taken this paper but i've removed all um references from it to just kind of reduce the size of it so after removing references i think it looks like i have about 38000 tokens here okay okay awesome so uh, my prompt here to to gpt 3.5 was to um that this is a paper written in latex format extract all the tables summarize them one by one and um make sure that each summary is five to seven sen sentences long you need to give me the output in a proper format that has a table number a table name and the summary for that table okay awesome Awesome. So this is the output I got from um, OpenAI or from Langchain, what kind of running this from. So as I go through this, I can see that it has um, extracted about six tables. So let's go back to the paper. Okay, let's see what the paper has. So this is table one, two, three, four five and six so yeah so, so since i took the content before references here it does actually have six tables so uh first and foremost i can see it did quite well in extracting the tables um secondly i can see that the the table names seem quite accurate so if i go to table two it says open-ended generation with truthful qa and stuff so let's check that yep so it's gotten the table name correctly if you go through what it has summarized about the table. Okay, so um, the table uh, from kind of my interpretation of all of these is the model did quite well, understanding the rows and columns of the table and understanding what the table high level represents. It also oftentimes gave a conclusion for the table. Um, so for example, it shows here that the DOLA technique consistently outperforms the other methods with respect to the, the, these scores. Um, so in general, I, I found that it did well. Where I found the OpenAI had some room for improvement was that I would have loved to see more stats coming out of the table. Like, you know, we saw X percent improvement or Y percent improvement here and there. Um, that was missing through through OpenAI and no amount of prompting would, would, would um, have the model do that. So here is where I also tested Claude um, for this task and I found that Claude did much better. It, it was able to, get information out from within the table and all the stats that were in the table and summarize them quite well. Okay, awesome. So I also use this code to extract out all the math equations um, and have the model kind of explain them to me. And here as well, I found that um, the models did quite well. It was able to pass out the math equations and it did a decent good job trying to explain to me what are the different terms involved here and what that, that equation means. So overall, like I, my experience here showed that this is a significant improvement over our, our baseline right now. This allows us, this technique, the NuGet technique allows us to read um, inf research papers. And, and I think from that measure, even books, right? Any Anywhere that information is right now stored um, in a format that uh, regular OCR it doesn't do a good job of parsing it. So certainly books and research papers now become accessible for a bunch of applications and I think this model did amazing there. Awesome, very cool. I hope you guys um, liked this um, discussion. Please share your comments um, and please try out the code and share any any you know feedback you had. Thank you, bye.